Five years ago, my husband and I decided to sell everything that we owned and to start again in a new country, a completely new chapter of our lives. But where did we move to and why did we choose it? Well, we chose Portugal and here's why. Five years ago, after just turning 50, my husband and I wanted to change our lives completely. We sold everything we owned and set off in a new direction to change the course of our lives. We now live in Portugal. But why did we choose Portugal? One evening, we saw a documentary about Portugal and realised we knew very little about it except the endless sandy beaches in Algarve, southern Portugal. We booked a flight for the following day and set off on a road trip from the Silver Coast north of Lisbon down to Sagres on the southwest coast across to Tavira close to the border with Spain. We visited quaint little hilltop villages like Carenza walked through narrow, cobbled Calçada streets lined with artisan shops in Faro and Tavira, drank delicious red wine in the mountains of Monchique, took a boat trip in the Rio Formosa National Park to see spoonbills and flamingos and enjoyed the wild, windswept Atlantic beaches of Arefana and Monte Clerigo. But nowhere felt like home. We'd lived in Devon and our favourite town was Totnes, a small market town on the River Dart. So I decided to Google best market town in Algarve and that's how we found Lolay, inland about 15 minutes from the coast. It's a bustling town with a large produce market at its centre. On Saturdays the local farmers set up shop along the streets outside the market offering freshly picked fruit and veggies, plants, honey, nuts and so much more. On entering the market I knew we'd found our home. Lole offers the hustle and bustle of market life, boutique shops, little street cafes, artisan shops selling jewellery, copperware, baskets, art and so much more. Within a few minutes drive of Lole there are vineyards, horse riding, beaches, incredible golf courses, hiking trails and even a Buddhist temple. You can drink fine wine and eat at Michelin star restaurants or local cafes selling Pratos do Dia, the local dish of the day. Farmers and workmen will appear out of nowhere, their trucks and bikes surrounding the cafe whilst they enjoy a freshly cooked meal at a very reasonable price. Wash down with a beer, a coffee and a dessert for less than 10 euros. We now take our holidays in the north of Portugal when the heat of summer becomes too much to bear in the south. We head for Peneda Jerez National Park, rent a house in the mountains to enjoy wild swimming, hiking and a taste of simple mountain life. The Portuguese people are kind and friendly, warm and welcoming. Portuguese people speak their own language, Portuguese, not Spanish as many people assume. I find the pronunciation tricky, but most locals can and will speak a little English or French and will help you with your Portuguese pronunciation, keen to communicate whichever combination of languages you use. Fast forward a few years and we feel completely settled. Waking up to sunshine over 300 days per year is magical. We spend the majority of our time outdoors. We shop at the daily produce market, buy from small owner-run local stores and occasionally nip over the border to Spain for a cheeky glass of sangria and a plate of grilled padron peppers if we fancy a change of scenery. We currently live in a rental property in the middle of an orange grove on the outskirts of Tavira in the east. We are in the process of building a home as we bought a ruin in the hills of Lolay. But that's another tale, which I'll tell you more about another time. If you like this video today, and they do take quite a lot of time, don't forget to give me a like, a follow, and share me with your friends. And come back soon for some more 50 Sister Life.